here in Fountain Green, Utah. Daughters of Utah Pioneer Marker 589 on the day of its dedication, actually. Everyone's just leaving from the dedication. This is about the old flour mill that was located here. Looked like that. It was right here. It says Fountain Green was settled in 1859 by George Washington Johnson under the direction of Brigham Young. It was dependent upon the water flowing from the spring to the west, known as both Uinta Springs and Big Springs. This is the site of the flour mill built in 1867 by Bernard Snow and Samuel Jukes and was run by Miller Ole Sorensen. The mill water wheel was powered by spring water channeled through a flume that filled small wooden troughs on the wheel which turned the millstones inside the mill. In 1871, the mill was destroyed by fire and replaced by a larger mill built in 1872. People brought wheat or grist to the mill in exchange for bran, shorts, germane, and flour. Fountain Green Flour, Phoenix Rolling Mill brand, was of the highest quality and established San Pete County as the breadbasket of Utah. 1875 brought the addition of a narrow gauge railroad that stopped in Wales, Fountain Green, and Nephi. The railroad berm located to the southeast of the mill. You can see it right there. Formed a commerce hub. The train transported flour and grist, coal from Wales, adobe brick made at the brickyard northeast of the flour mill, livestock, mail, and passengers. Ole Sorensen served as the express agent and had the first telephone in Fountain Green. In 1889, the mill burned again and was rebuilt with an upgrade to produce 40 barrels a day. The new company owners were Charles Foote, Lewis Anderson, A.J. Agard, and Ole Sorensen. Ole Sorensen continued to supervise the mill operations, the mill converted to, an, uh, to electric power in 1903. Niels Hansen purchased the mill in 1904 and continued operation until 1918. It was then managed by Lawrence Hermanson and others. In the 1930s, the mill closed and the lumber and machinery were moved to Gunnison.